Okay, so here's the uh, Welsh Ponies chassis. You can see it's now on its wheels again, which is uh, a good step forward. Um, it's ready now to have the valve gear to go in here and the springs can be fitted. Um, but the next big task is to uh, mate this chassis with the, with the boiler. Um, that happens particularly at the back here um, where we've got there'll be uh, brackets on the front of the outer firebox of the boiler um, they will be drilled and bolted down here at the back of the frames with a set of fitted bolts um, and that's a key step and uh, that will be going on next week so there'll be another step forward with the, um, with the boiler on, on the frames and that will uh, allow a lot of other work to um, progress. There's, uh, there's some outer frame pieces that run down the side that carry the tanks, they can then go on. And, and there's another shorter set of frames that run backwards from the outer firebox, carry the cab floor and the drag box at the back of the loco. Okay, so uh, we've got the, the boiler here. Um, you can see the, uh, the brackets here, um, which will carry the frames going backwards that support the cab floor and the drag box. There are similar brackets at the front, which will be attached to the frames we were just talking about. Um, you can see uh, up here in the middle there, we've got the, uh, the regulator shaft and the gland for that is all ready to go and uh, one of the water gauge cocks is in place um, but the others can be bolted on um, and there's uh, an original fire old door there so um, Bob who's working on the boiler he's just uh, working on the start of the ash pan here which uh, this piece of angle here will, will form part of. Um, he's going to build the top bit of the ash pan next whilst the boiler can be turned over like it is now uh, relatively easily because once it's installed onto the loco frames it will be much harder to work on so and try and do everything he can whilst it's able to be turned over like this. Yeah so here we've got the uh, the top of the dome um, and you can see we've got a, a modern safety valve here. The original locos just had the one safety valve that was in the cab. Now we've we've got that on the Welsh Pony but um, because of modern regulations uh, we've added this second modern safety valve that will actually be hidden under the dome cover but uh, it'll mean the the boiler is, uh, well, it'll be safer and will meet with uh, current regulations on boiler fittings. So it's an important bit, but um, it won't be seen. And then uh, back here, you can see on the front of the firebox, you can see the, the welded on brackets. Um, the uh, there'll be a piece of plate here that will be bolted to the back of the locos frames that we were looking at previously. Okay, so this is uh, the bronze turret on top of the uh, Welsh Pony's boiler firebox. Um, this is a new bronze casting that we've had made. Uh, it's a copy of the original arrangement and um, what this does, it's got takeoffs for various things like uh, injectors we use steam so there'll be valves screwed into here and also it carries the the safety valve um, this is the original style of safety valve that the loco had it's called a salter valve this is the valve safety valve itself 
so you can see it's guided with these big long wings and then there's a, a seat there and round here so normally this is held down by a lever arm that's coming out here and a big spring assembly that's tied on down here somewhere so that spring force is pressing down onto the valve and keeping it shut until the pressure in the boiler gets to the appropriate level overcomes the spring force let's steam out here and then to go around here is a bronze another bronze casting shroud that will take the steam out of the cab roof but down here we've got an original one from the uh, this one's off the princess that we borrowed to copy and you can see the, there's the valve there and then this is uh, this is the arm that would have pressed down with onto the valve like that okay so this is the the dome of the loco the uh, the dome lid with the modern safety valve that we were looking at earlier that will sit on top here um, in here we've got the the loco's regulator valve which is a an original part that we've reused because it was in quite good condition um, so this is where the steam is uh, collected in the dome uh, and as the regulator valve is operated the steam is then allowed into the pipe down and out to the front of the loco to the uh, within the smoke box and that comes out here uh, and then is passed down to the cylinders you can uh, see the tender is now pretty much completed apart from painting it's even got the uh, nice new brass knobs here and uh, there's a plate in there that the coal will actually sit on and um, the door there to shovel through so the fireman will stand there when he's firing the local he can shovel out of there and then through the opening in the back of the cab here into the into the fire hole when the when it's all finished so pretty much now this tender's uh, ready for painting in whatever color it might be painted we shall see <laughs>